Saifu Malave is weakened a little bit after reaching its peak intensity earlier today with the winds of 125 miles per hour. However, it's still a Category 3. As of 9 p.m. in Vietnam, it was located at 13.8 degrees north, 111.9 degrees east, and is closing in on Vietnam right now. Right now, the storm has winds of 120 miles per hour, that's 195 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of 958 millibars. The storm is moving west at 15 miles per hour and is a stage 7 on the CDPS scale, which is quite high given its rainfall threat and its wind speed. We are currently forecasting landfall in about 10 hours from now and will be a CDPS stage 7, which is currently forecast. This is where the storm is located currently. It's located at 13.8 degrees north, 111.9 degrees east, and is moving west. Tropical storm force winds on the western side are approaching land and will begin shortly, given the storm's proximity to Vietnam. Right now, the storm is located 172 miles away from Quy Nan, 206 from Nha Trang, 288 from Da Nang, 306 from Phan Thiet, and 406 from Ho Chi Minh, all those in Vietnam. See your local National Weather Service for latest watches and warnings related to Typhoon Malave when you can do so safely. This is what models are saying right now intensity wise, ADT going slightly lower probably due to the absence of an eye with winds of 100 miles per hour. Sat Con and Ram running slightly lower, 110 to 115. However, Joint Typhoon Warning Center and AMSU are in agreement with our estimate of 120 miles per hour. This is what the latest Joint Typhoon Warning Center forecast said. They will be updating shortly. They gave it winds of 125 miles per hour, however, they recently have backed down to 120. And they are forecasting probably a Category 2 landfall. But given the storm's proximity to land, it would not surprise me at least if we see a Category 3 landfall for this storm which is not what Vietnam needs after this rainfall trend that they've been seeing. And here's the rainfall forecast. You can see there's quite a large trail of rainfall from Malave. And you can also see two other systems pushing through Vietnam and once again towards Vietnam again. And another system possibly heading out to sea to the east of the Philippines. We'll need to monitor those two systems closely over the next few days. Malave's rainfall threat seems to be quite high as Malave moves inland. This is what sea surface temperatures are looking like for Malave. They have decreased a little bit, hence the weakening trend that we are now seeing. And we will likely see a Category 3 landfall given its proximity to land, which is quite a catastrophic situation given Vietnam's current rainfall forecast. This is what models are forecasting track-wise. This is slightly outdated a little bit, but the general trend is a landfall on Vietnam, quite given actually. With the center dissipating over land. There is the off chance that its center could survive into the North Indian Ocean. However, regeneration uh, is not forecast given the unfavorable conditions in the Bay of Bengal. This is what models are saying for Malave. HWRF and TTCX think that it might have a few hours to intensify and get up to Category 4. I don't think that's going to happen, luckily. GFS running slightly lower with a Category 1 system as it normally does. Shear is rising a little bit given the storm's weakening trend. Sea surface temperatures are slightly dropping. And relative humidity is actually very high for the storm, so that's going in the storm's favor right now. However, sea surface temperatures have wind shear not so much. This is how the rainfall is looking for the storm right now. You're really wanting to look at the purple and black spots for the east on the eastern side for the most heavy rainfall. So perhaps we won't be seeing the most heavy rainfall totals until after the storm makes landfall. So that could be something that we need to look out for in relation to this storm. And as you can see, looking at the visible imagery, the eye has been struggling. However, it did peak into category 3, 125 miles an hour. However, it is beginning to weaken. We'll be live this evening to cover the landfall of Malave as it moves into Vietnam. Stay tuned for that, as well as local information from the National Weather Service in Vietnam. Stay safe.